Today what I want to do is just give you some organizational tips when it comes to unpacking your very first inventory. We have four big boxes here because this is a, a half store actually that we're going to be unpacking. And one thing you want to do is just always turn your boxes upside down and it helps to have scissors or a utility knife so that you can easily get into your boxes. And the reason you want to do it upside down is two reasons. One is that the packing slip for the box is right on top. So it makes it really easy to check off everything that you order to make sure it's in the box. And then also all the packing foam will fall to the, uh, the bottom here and that way you're not digging through it. So, oh boy, look what we're getting. It looks like we've got a couple of satin hand sets and we got a little bag full of mascaras and eyeshadows and blushers. Our beautiful miracle sets. Okay. And I'm just going to unpack the bag, the box rather, and just pull everything out and not even worry about too much what I've got. And just pulling things out, kind of grouping things together um, that are going to be counted in. So that's going to make it easy. Perfect. Here we go. So now uh, what I have left is just some packing foam, but to make it easy and to organize my, my goods, I'm going to actually take the utility knife and cut off the flap so that I can make dividers for my box. Here we go. Just going to flip this uh, like this. There. So now I've got one flap and I've got another flap. Perfect. Okay, and these are going to go in the box like this. I might make several even from these other wings. And um, that way I can put my skincare product and so forth. That way I know exactly where things are. And when I go to the car to pull an order for somebody, I, I have it really at my disposal. So what I'm going to do, actually with the packing foam, it is biodegradable, so you could just put it down your sink with some warm water in the garbage disposal. I like to save it and drop it off at um, some of the places that um, send out things. So I'm going to go ahead and unload my box. I've had a lot of practice with this, so I have a system. Okay, there we go. So I'll put this aside for now. And I'm going to go ahead and put my dividers here in my box. And I'm going to just go ahead for now and load up what I have. I have some, uh, this is some body care products. I'm going to put it to the end. And then I've got my miracle sets I'm going to put over here at the front. Just for now, I'll probably... Uh, shift these around a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and put my satin hands. And I'm going to go ahead and create another divider here. Actually, I think I'll create a couple. check things off. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and open another box here and see what I have. I've already turned it on end and I cheated a little. I had already opened it. But again, now what I'm looking at is the next set of packing slips. And I've got bags this time. I've got a brush set. 
Ooh, I got more than one brush set. Isn't this fun? Got more small items. Okay. More satin hands. So you get the idea. This is what you're going to do. I have an idea for you as well with the small items. Is if you have a few smaller boxes, this can um, help you here. So when you go to sort the small items, I'm just going to take the small box here. And I'm going to go ahead and empty out in the small box the small items. And I'm just going to sort them and put them on in. So I've got some lipsticks, I've got some shadows and some blushes. Right now I'm just going to line them up here. Oh, this would work. I have a little deeper box. I'll use the deeper box for, say, the mascaras and the pencils. And I want to keep them on end so that I can read the names. And actually, I like to keep most things on end in a box. I'm not one that would store my inventory in any kind of baggies because then it's hard to find. But you can see here how my system's going to really help me count things in. Some of these smaller mineral powders are actually in the bubble wrap because they're pretty delicate. But for the purpose of counting them in and then keeping them for my customers, I'm going to take them out of the bubble wrap. So we'll come back in just a minute and you'll just see how far I've gotten. And look, I mean, we've got pencils and lipsticks and glosses and brushes and samples. And But if you have your boxes kind of ready, then you can just start just doing your sort. So I'm just taking and putting things that are alike alike. I'm not worrying too much. I know these are lipsticks and glosses, so they're getting all lined up. My pencils are going in this deeper box here, along with my mascaras, all of my sample of lip glosses. These are brushes that are gonna be for the mineral powder makeup. I think I'll put those right here, along with the sponges, along with the little brushes and the powder brushes. Just a quick sort, because this will make it easier for me when I'm going to go ahead and count things in. Okay, so don't worry that it's a little messy and chaotic, but you're going to get a system and it's going to be a lot easier. So stay tuned. Okay, so we got all that chaos organized. Check it out. So just in two boxes now we've got all of our lipsticks and our glosses, our balms, all of our eyeshadows and our um, mineral powder foundations, our blushes, our bronzers, our highlighters. So. I did throw here in the middle a couple of baggies, one with the sponges, and I'm going to put here one with the brushes, because I don't have to look for colors or names, I can just grab those. Um, another thing that I do, I take the extra bags actually, and so if my box, in this case, if you see here, these are going to fall over, so what I do is I just use my extra bags to kind of create a little filler to keep them on end and um, that helps me a little bit too. I also wanted to mention that you get free product, of course, when you place your first order. So you always wanna make sure you get your first order within the first two weeks from signing your agreement because you're gonna get your Color 101. And isn't it cute? It comes in this great little box, a gift for you. And this is your free Color 101. So it's $113.50 in free product that you're gonna get. It's an entire look, which is super great. And then also, this is a half store, an 1800 wholesale. So um, this consultant also received her $300 in free product. So what she's going to get is she's going to go ahead and get an extra satin hand set for free. And she's going to get her two roll-up bags for free, one which we're going to fill and turn into a demo. And then check this out, two more cleansers free. Set them here for now. Um, two more moisturizers free, two sets of day-night solution free, two foundations, um, looks like two eye revitalizers, uh, and a microdermabrasion set. So this is really, really cool. So what I'm going to do next, now you're probably not going to carry all of this with you to your first appointment or your appointments, and so you're not going to carry it all in the car but I'm going to just show you what I would put in the car. And so remember the boxes that I created the dividers with? This is how I think to do it. 
So first of all, I'm going to start cleanser, moisturizer, etc. And I'm actually going to put my, um, my miracle sets in a separate box. Um, so they're going to go in a separate box. But I'm going to just fill in with the individual cleansers. So I'm going to start with my individual cleansers and uh, put a couple of each formula. And then I'm going to put, um, I noticed she has some facial cloths, but it looks like she has three. But I'm only going to put two of them to carry with me to the appointment. I'm going to put a third one just as kind of some backup inventory at home. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put the moisturizers, because that's cleanser moisturizer. That's kind of the system. And we have both formulas. So here's my combination formula. So I'm going to go ahead. I think I'm only going to put two and two. So I'm going to put one of those extra cleansers just to keep it home. So there we go. And uh, then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the microderm abrasions. I'm going to move these over. I've got microderm abrasions here. Um, and it looks like I've got four. And you know me, I'm going to carry all four with me because I feel like um, that's very um, logical that I could sell four because that product is so great. Um, also, she has some of the um, travel ones in each formula. I'm going to go ahead and bring those with me too, just in case. And I noticed we also have two of the Serum C, and I'm going to pack these for now. Now, I might go ahead and turn this into a, one of them into a display or demonstration set because I bet I think I'll leave that out for that because people need to see that. All right, so then next, what I'm going to go ahead and put are the foundations, and we have several of the colors here that are part of the um, medium coverage foundations. And then, we're, since we're in foundations, I like putting likes alike. So, with this consultant, she's also got some, what are these? She's got some of the tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to put those. Now, I'm putting them on in so I can read the colors. And I'm putting them from light to dark, so I have everything there. Okay, and here's one more. Looks like one more foundation. And what do we have here? Okay, we have Even Complexion Essence. So I'm going to move into, oh, I'm going to put some eye makeup remover, because that's very common. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and use another divider and put some extra supplements. And it looks like right here I have... Um, some oil mattifier and some age fighting lip primer, my even complexion essence, my eye revitalizer. So I'm just going to put that there. Now she has um, a few of those, so I'm going to take the two extra. Oh, I see what I have. I'm sorry. That wasn't all eye revitalizer. Some of those are satin lips. So I'm going to go ahead and put the satin lips and the satin balm right here, too. I'm going to show you this in just a minute. Uh, then also acne treatment gel. And I notice here we have firming eye cream. That just goes naturally with the Ultimate Miracle Set. So I've got the microderm, the eye cream, real handy. And then I have here, looks like some eye primer. I'm going to put that right here. And then, um, let's see, this looks like some oil-free gel and an intense moisture cream. So I'm going to put a one and one. I'm going to just do a little adjust here so they fit. But I'm going to show you this so you get the idea. And I'm going to leave one of the oil frees behind. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what this looks like. So it's so easy to then just be able to grab from your car whatever you need to fill the order. This is what I would call my skincare um, collection. And I am going to bring my miracle sets. And it looks like I've got um, two for combination oily and three for the normal to dry. So what I'm going to do, I want them to stay nice so I'm not going to crowd them or anything. I like that plastic bag to stay real nice. But it looks like they're going to fit perfectly here. All right. And so I've got my skincare. Now I've got my miracle sets. But I'm going to also go ahead then and put satin hands because I'm going to need those for the um, I'm going to need those for the queen of everything. But I'm only going to bring three with me, and I'm probably going to turn this one into a demo. So I'm going to put it over here. 
Okay, I'm also going to take my Color 101 use that to fill up my roll-up bag. So what else do I have? Well, I have a cellu shape. That's always good to carry with me. And uh, then I have some of the regular um, hydrating lotion and the two-in-one body and shade. I'm going to carry that because when they fill out their profile card, that often comes up as one of the uh, popular items, okay? And then I have some fragrances as well. So I'm going to go ahead with my fragrances, and I'm going to most likely show these at the end of the class when I have taken everyone, uh, lined them up to kind of come individually for the individual clothes, but I want them while they're eating dessert to be focused on Mary Kay, so I might go ahead and put out my testers of my colognes. So these might turn into demo, um, but for now I'm just gonna load them in the box. If I was gonna start with just a few colognes, I'll tell you what I would do. The Simply Cotton, the Exotic Passion Fruit, the Amber, uh, and the Honeysuckle, those would be the ones that I would uh, definitely use on the table. They're an easy $25 add-on, which is so great. Oh, look, I found some more foundations I need to put in here with my foundations. I have a little room, which is a good thing. More satin lips. And, you know, I'm going to take the, there is one more, um, looks like one more here of the microderm. I'm going to leave that at home because it's not even in a bag. It's more for refills. And one more firming eye cream. I think I can leave that at home as well. Okay. And, but I'm going to bring my satin hand, my satin lips. They're pretty popular. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, I have my day and night solution that were free. I'm going to leave those at home for now because I do have them in my miracle set already. And if I need to dig into my miracle set to, to give someone a day-night solution, I can do that. So for now, these are going to stay at home. All right. Now, what else I have is my mineral powder. These are mineral powders. And what I like to do is with the Sharpie right on the bottom here, on the back, what color it is. That way I can store them on end. So for example, this is a beige one, but I'm going to write beige one. So that way I can line these all up and I know what colors I have. And I actually think I'm going to put them over here in my little boxes. So, and that's cool. Okay. And these were my little free satin hands. So I'm going to Actually, we offer this currently in the catalog. They get a miniature travel size satin hands with a full size. So just so I don't have to do it later, I'm going to go ahead and throw it in the bag. So everything is set for the first few people that purchase satin hands. Okay, I'm also going to take my brush sets. And of course, I want one that I'm going to use as my demo. So I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to pack my other brush set for sale or for the hostess gift. And there's room right here for that. Oh, and then this is one of the um, green bags that's going to be really great to use to advertise my business, as well as these great plastic bags to um, put product in. So I wouldn't necessarily bring all of them, but I do want to bring them because when I'm filling the orders, I want to be able to, you know, hand my client the plastic bag. So I'm going to put that there, and I think I'll put this one here. At least I'll know where they are. Okay, so these are actually going to go in my car, which is going to be really cool. And these are also going to go in my car. Okay, and then I've got my roll-up bag. And this I want to go ahead and fill up with all the product. My Ultimate Miracle Set, my Color Set my eye makeup remover, and my satin handset. And a lot of this is already in your starter kit, but you want to put it in your roll-up bag because when you go to your appointment, you want to have this showing what we call the queen of everything. And of course, you're going to sell the queen of everything. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to come out to my car and I'm going to show you how I load the boxes in my car. Okay, so now here we are at the car and I just want to show you um, how I've got it in the trunk. And remember the boxes from in the kitchen? Well, here they are. So I've got my cleansers and my microderms and my supplements and so forth right here. And then I've got my miracle sets and brush sets and a little body care. I went ahead and 
and transferred the lipsticks and glosses into this tackle box and that makes it really easy to keep them alphabetized and I can find whatever I need. And also, these are tackle boxes that are great to hold the um, powders, bronzers, highlighters. And then I have a second box that holds all of the eyeshadows. So that makes it easy for me to pull things. And you might want to also keep a flashlight because if you're doing it at night, you might need to go ahead and, and uh, pull your things uh, and the light is going to help. I have my bags. I can just pull things, fill their order, make the ladies happy. I often will have them say, uh, come with me. I might say, hey, come with me to my car and I'll go ahead and have you hold the bag <laughs> and I'm filling up what they purchase. And when they see more stuff, they ask, what's that? And often I can get some add-on sales. Isn't that fun? So it's just that simple. Off we go. We got everything we need. And on-the-spot delivery is such a plus for your clients because they appreciate being able to take the product with them and no waiting. And I really do feel that they buy more. So put your uh, store on wheels and take it wherever you go. And if you live in hot weather or real cold weather, you're probably going to take the boxes in and out of your house. But um, some of us in California have the luxury of being able to carry our product year-round. So let's go get some appointments cooking. You are going to have a lot of fun and enjoy the benefits of this business.